Welcome to Highway 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a good looking newsletter opt in box. Um, so, basically, we're going to make a sign up box for our newsletter that looks attractive and stands out and that will get people to sign up. Um, so, the first thing I need is the opt in code. So, I've gone into MailChimp, I've logged in, and I'm going to go ahead and actually get my Dr. Sexy newsletter, which is it's for a short story I'm writing. I'm going to click Forms, and um, this tutorial is going to be specific to MailChimp, but you can sort of apply these principles to Aweber um, or whatever opt-in you happen to be using. I'm going to click Sign Up Form Embed Code, and then I'm going to get the naked form, um, and I'm just going to remove all the extra stuff. Uh, so I just want email address and subscribe and then I'm going to copy this text. Okay, we actually need to strip this down further, so I'm going to show you how to do that in a text editor so you can see the words really, really big. Um, so it gives us this comment line, and this is pretty this is pretty usual. It'll give you like the beginning and end of your form, um, and if you are the kind of person that doesn't use HTML a lot, you can leave these comments, but I'm going to get rid of the comment lines because they bother me. <laughs> and now I'm going to get rid of this div class equals field group because that's another thing I don't need. And this div responses. And actually, this is just going to display whether or not someone put in an email address at all, so I can get rid of these and end up with just the input equals email and input equals um, the submit button with the value as subscribe. So I'm also going to get rid of the label for email address. Uh, you can keep it, but I'm going to get rid of it. And so now we just have our form with our email input, our button inside its own little div, and that's what I'm going to use. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing to follow. Um, but usually, if you want to make your own form, it's easy. You want to strip out all the extra stuff. Okay. On the home page is where I'm going to put my form. I'm just going to put it right in the content block. Um, and I'm going to edit this page then and go into HTML mode and stick my code in here and hit update. And so it's going to appear like this. Uh, you can stick this code in a widget, too. It'll work the same way, but I don't have any widgets on this page, so I'm going to use the content block. Um, from here on out, we just need to use CSS to style things. So I'm going to keep this open so you can see we can refer to it for the IDs. And here I have my style.css file for my child theme. You can use the uh, the visual editor design mode. I'm using a child theme CSS so that the code is easier to see in this video, but it'll work if you put it in live CSS just the same. Um, and for those of you interested, I am for this tutorial using the schematic child theme framework, which I developed, um, which has a bunch of CSS classes sort of built in to make it easier to make your own child themes. It's $19.99, or if you tweet it out to your followers or Facebook it, if you have 100 friends or 100 followers, you can get 50% off and only pay $10. Um, but check it out under Child Themes on Headway 101. That's my quick pitch. Let's do some CSS. All right, so I'm just going to comment and do opt-in box. OK, the first thing we want to do is get our input and our button side by side. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to do this div, MCE sign up, and we're going to do div number that one. You can just copy the ID, like the ID directly. You don't have to type it out yourself if you don't want to. And then do form input and display inline. If I hit reload. And make sure that there's no, in WordPress, that there's no line break or anything, because that's why it won't go right next to each other. But if I get rid of this line break, it should fix things properly. Um, if that doesn't work also, you can add float left. Um, but display in line on its own should work pretty well. 
So now I've got them side by side, and now I'm going to add some padding. And I'm going to make the font size 16 pixels so that the fonts are big enough. Okay. From here, we can style the inputs separately. So here I'm going to do div number mc embed sign up form input. And first we're going to style the email. So this one has the ID mce email. So pound sign email. And um, we're going to do margin right five pixels. You don't have to do this, obviously, but if you want to separate the two by just a little bit, five pixels is usually a pretty good, a pretty good amount. Next, we're going to want to add something that indicates that this is an email field. Um, we could have left the label in here, but usually it's a lot cleaner and more stylish to just use an icon. So I've gone to iconfinder.com and I've searched email. It's you can actually add the search um, engine to your Firefox search engines or whatever browser you're using, you can add it as a search engine, but otherwise just go to iconfinder.com. And the size we want is about 24 by 24. And I'm just going to pick this one. Download the PNG. And then you can upload it through the WordPress media uploader, or you can stick it in your child theme. But let's use the media uploader for this tutorial. So go to media, add new, and then grab the image of the email you just got. And we're going to go back to CSS and we're going to do background, colon URL, paste in our URL. We're going to do no repeat and then we're going to do 5px, which is 5 pixels from the left and 5 pixels from the top. Um, and then number FFF, which is white. So since we're not, this is a transparent background image. Um, we don't want any of the color from later to show through. And so if I, if I type in my email, you can actually see that it's overlapping. So the last thing we want to do here is add some padding left and about 35 should work properly. Okay. Next, we're going to want to style our subscribe button. So if we look at our HTML text, we want to get the ID. New line, div number, MC, embed, sign up, form, input, subscribe button. We're going to reduce the padding by one pixel. Um, I have no idea why it's just one pixel, but we're going to do that. And it'll make them even. We're going to remove a property called text shadow, which gets rid of this indented um, sort of bevel type thing. It'll make it it'll make styling easier. So we didn't type none, and then that's all the basic structure we need to do for that. Okay, and finally, um, we're going to add in div number mc embed. Sign up form, we're going to add in at the top, overflow, hidden, padding, 10 pixels, and then border, 1px, solid, black, which is number 000. Um, so this is the size of our form. Obviously, this is a really big form. If you look at your HTML, you can kind of see that we don't have any sizes, so you can actually change the size of the inputs. If you want to do them both at the same time, just go up to our first where it just says form input and you could do like 50% um, and they'll sort of fill in. The reason that it jumped to the bottom is because we have the margin on the right. But if I get rid of this, if I get rid of the margin on the right, oops, and hit the save button, <laughs> you can see they go side by side. Um, or I could make it less than 50 so that they fit together. You can make it like 45%. and the margin on the right will still be there. Um, for the form, you can adjust the width to whatever. So you could be like 400 pixels wide. 
So that's sort of how you play around with the um with the width settings. And then of course if you wanted to make just one of them bigger, you would just use the width property in terms of pixels or percentages. So I could make it 100 pixels, I could make it 130 pixels. Um, so that's kind of what happens. Okay, so now let's add, for the final touches, some color. I'm going to go to name that color, and I'm just going to pick one from here. Um, let's do... The tutorial, the written tutorial on Headway 101 is purple, but let's do a different color. So let's do a blue. Lots of people like blue. So grab like a dark solid color. And what you're going to want to do is set that as the background for your input button. And then make the color white, the color of the text for the input button white. Okay, and then we're going to make the text color for our email input um, also that solid blue color. And I broke it. Let me try that again. My internet flipped out for a minute. What? It just happened. I don't know what's happening or why my internet just did that, but I'm going to delete that really quick. Weird. Color. I'm sure I typed something that I missed that someone else would point out. But make the blue, make it your color, and then now and name that color. And if you want to get to name that color, just go to google.com and type in name that color. And it's the first link. Um, but grab a slightly darker color, and we're going to use that as the border color. So where it says input, we're going to do border, one pixel solid, this new color. And it'll give our background some border. And we can also, if you want to, we can use it as the form's border color. So let's replace black with that. And then finally, we can do like a super dark blue as the form background. And now it stands out. And um, to hover, if you want to make like a hover button, let's pick like orange. Um, it would just be div number MC embed sign up form input MC embedded subscribe colon hover background this orange color. Let me reload. And then it would be orange. So that's sort of the process of making a subscribe a simple subscription box that stands out. Um, check out headway101.com for the written tutorial. The link is below this video. I'm Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.